Ten two graphing exponential functions practice solutions. Uh, for our first set of examples, well, really all of them, one through eighteen, we are graphing these functions. So I have given you a um, a function table with these in your own homework. You're gonna have to come up with that yourself, but you can always use values of negative two, negative one, zero, one, and two to plug in for x and solve. So for example, one, we're given f of x is equal to two times three to the power of x. So we're just gonna do two times three to the negative second, two times three to the negative first, two times three to the power of zero, two times three to the first, and two times three to the second. Think order of operations here. Simplify those exponents first. If you have a negative, if you have a negative exponent on something, take the reciprocal of the term it's attached to. So for two times three to the negative second, the three to the negative second becomes one third to the power of two, which is one ninth times two. So this is two and over nine for our y value here. The two times three to the negative first is two times one third, which is two thirds. Then we have two times uh, three to the power of zero. Anything to the power of zero is one. So two times one is two. And then two times three is six. Two times nine is 18. So we are going to have negative two and two ninths. Well, negative one and two thirds. Zero, two, and one six. We're gonna get really close to that x-axis, but never cross it. And then go through our points, our line will look like this. For example, two, we have f of x is equal to negative six times two to the power of x. So this is gonna be negative six times two to the power of negative two. So that's negative six times one half squared, which is one fourth times negative six, which is negative six over four, which simplifies to be negative three over two. And we have negative six times two to the negative first, which is negative six times one half. So that's negative three. Then we have six, negative six times two to the power of zero. So negative six times one is negative six. Negative six times two to the first power is negative 12. And negative six times two to the second power is negative six times four is negative 24. So we are going to have negative two, negative one half. Then negative one, three, negative three. This should be to the other. There we go. There we go. All right. From there we have zero, negative six, and one, negative 12. So this line is going to get really close to the x-axis as it goes to the left and go down as it goes to the right. For three, we have f of x is equal to negative five times 0 0.5 to the power of x. The 0 0.5 is the same thing as one half. So this is gonna be negative five times one half to the negative second. So negative five times two squared is negative five times four, which is negative 20. And we have negative five times one half to the negative first, which is just negative five times two, which is negative 10. Then negative five times one half the power of zero, so negative five times one is negative five, and then negative five times one half is negative five over two. Negative five times one half squared is negative five times one fourth, so it's negative five over four. To plot these points, the first one we're not gonna have on our graph, but negative one, negative 10 is going to be here. Then we have zero, negative five, one, five over two, so it's two and one half. And negative, uh, oh, I'm sorry, positive two, negative five and five and one, oh my gosh. Positive two, positive, or negative one and one fourth. Here we go. So this one gets closer to the x-axis as it goes to the right and it goes down as it goes to the left.
for number 4, we have f of x is equal to 3 times 0 0.8 to the power of x. So that 0 0.8 is the same thing as 8 over 10. So that's going to be 4 over 5. So we have 3 times 4 fifths to the negative second. So that's 3 times 5 over 4 to the second. Uh, that 5 over 4 to the second power is 25 over 16. And that 25 times 3 is 75. So 75 divided by 16 gives us 4.6875. So then we have 3 times 4 fifths to the negative first. So it's 3 times 5 over 4. 5 over 5 times 3 is 15 divided by 4 is 3.75. The 0 is just 3 times 4 fifths to the power of 0, which is 3 times 1, and that's 3. 3 times 4 fifths to the power of 1 is 12 divided by 5, which is 2.4. And then 3 times 4 fifths to the second power is 3 times 16 over 25. So 3 times 16 is 48 divided by 25 gives us 1.92. So it's going to be the negative 2, 4.6875. So it's going to be about here. And then we have negative 1, 3.75. Uh, 0, 3. 1, 2.4. And 2, 1.92. This one's wrong. Oops. Alright. 1, 2.4 is here. And then 2. One point nine two is here. So it's just going to get closer to the x-axis as it goes to the right. Then go up as it goes to the left. For 5, we have f of x is equal to 6 times 3 to the power of x. So it's 6 times 3 to the negative second, which is 6 times 1 ninth. So it's 6 over 9, which is 2 thirds. Then we have 6 times 3 to the negative first, which is 6 times 1 third. So that's 6 over 3, which is 2. Then we have 6 times 3 to the power of 0, which is just 6 times 1, which is 6. 6 times 3 to the first is 6 times 3, which is 18. And then 6 times 3 to the second, which is 6 times 9, is 54. So negative 2, 2 thirds. Negative 2, 2 thirds. Yes, positive. It's going to be about here. We have one, negative 1, 2, 0, 6, and that 118 is going to get all the way off the graph. So this is going to go down and to the left, and then up and to the right. For 6, we have 0 0.2, so that's going to be 1 fifth. So negative 4 times 1 fifth to the negative second is negative 4 times 5 to the second. 5 to the second power is 25 times negative 4 is negative 100. Negative 4 times 1 fifth to the negative first is negative 4 times 5, which is negative 20. Negative 4 times 1 fifth to the power of 0 is negative 4 times 1. This is going to be negative 4. Negative 4 times 1 fifth to the first is negative 4 over 5, and negative 4 times 1 fifth to the second is negative 4 times 1 over 25, which is 4 over, negative 4 over 25, and 4 divided by 25 is 0, negative 0 0.16. So these three points are the only ones that we're going to have 0, negative 4, Uh, the four, the one negative four point four over five, 
and the two negative sixteen point sixteen. So this is going to go up, or sorry, down as it goes to the left and to the right as it gets closer to the x-axis. For 7, we are given f of x is equal to 7 times 0 0.9 to the power of x. So that in 0.9 is the same thing as 9 over 10. So this is going to be 7 times 9 tenths the negative second. So that's going to give us 7 times 10 over 9 squared. The 10 over 9 squared is 100 over 81. So 7 times 100 is 700 divided by 81 gives us 8.64. The 7 times 9 over 10 to the negative first is 7 times 10 over 9. So it's 70 over 9, which in decimal form is 7.7 .7 repeating. 7 times 9 over 10 to the power of 0 is 7 times 1. So it's 7. 7 times 9 tenths to the first is 63 over 10. So it's 6.3. And then 7 times 9 over 10 to the second is 81 over 100 times 7. So 81 times 7 is 567 divided by the 100 is 5.67. So we are going to have negative 2, 8.64. So this is going to be about here. Then negative 1, 7.7 7 repeating. It's going to be about here. 0, 7, 1, 6.3. And 2, 5, 6, 7. So this is going to get closer to the x-axis as it goes to the right and go up as it goes to the left. For 8, we have f of x is equal to negative 3 times 2 to the power of x. So we're going to have negative 3 times 2 to the negative second. So negative 3 times 1 fourth, which is negative 3 fourths. Negative 3 times 2 to the negative first is negative 3 times 1 half. So that's going to be negative 3 over 2, or negative 1 1, one half. Negative 3 times 2 to the power of 0 is negative 3 times 1. It's going to be negative 3. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Negative 3 times 9, or sorry, 4. This is 4 is negative 12. So we are going to be negative 2, negative 3 fourths, negative 1, negative 1, and 1 half, 0, th negative 3, 1, negative 6, and 2, negative 12. So it gets closer to the x-axis as it goes to the left, and goes down as it goes to the right. For 9, we have f of x is equal to 3 times 3 to the power of x. So this is going to give us 3 times 3 to the negative second, which is 3 times 1 ninth. This is going to give us 3 ninths, which is 1 third. 3 times 3 to the negative first is 3 times 1 third. That's going to give us 1. 3 times 3 to the power of 0 is 3 times 1. So that's 3. 3 times 3 to the first is 9. And 3 times 3 to the second is 27. So this is going to be negative 2 1 third. Then negative 1 1 0 3. 1, 9, and 2, 27 is not going to fit on this coordinate plane. So as we go to the left, we're going to get closer to the x-axis. And as we go to the right, we're going to go up.
for 10, we are given f of x is equal to 5 times 0 0.6 to the power of x. That 0 0.6 is the same thing as 6 over 10, which is 3 fifths. So we're going to have 5 times 3 fifths to the negative second. So that's 5 times 5 over 3 to the second. The 5 over 3 squared is 25 over 9. 25 times 5 gives us 125 over 9, which is 13.8 repeating. So then if we have the negative 1, we have 5 times 3 over 5 to the negative 1. So that's 5 times 5 over 3. That's 25 over 3, which gives us 8.3 repeating. 5 times 3 over 5 to the power of 0 is 5 times 1. So that's 5. 5 times 3 over 5 to the power of 1 is just 3. And 5 times 3 over 5 to the second power is going to be 5 times 9 over 25. And 5 times 9 is 45. Divided by the 25 gives us 1.8. So graph this, that negative 2, 13.8, it's going to be up here. And we have 8.3 repeating with a negative 1x value. So that's going to be about here. 0, 5, 1, 3, and 2, 1.8. So we're going to get closer to the x-axis as it goes to the right, and then go up as it goes to the left. For 11, we have f of x is equal to negative 6 times 0 0.7 to the power of x. That 0 0.7 is 7 over 10. So we're going to do negative 6 times 7 tenths to the negative second. So it's negative 6 times 10 over 7 to the second, which is 100 over 49. And that's negative 600 over 49. So that gives us 12.24. Negative 12.24. And then we have negative 6 times 7 over 10 to the negative first, which is negative 6 times 10 over 7. The negative 60 divided by 7 gives us negative 8.57. For the 0, we have negative 6 times 7 over 10 to the power of 0. So it's negative 6 times 1, which is negative 6. Negative 6 times 7 over 10 to the power of 1 is negative 42 over 10, which is 4.2. The negative 6 times 7 over 10 to the power of 2 is 49 over 10 times negative 6. 6 times 49 gives us 249. If we divide that by 100, we get 2.94. So to graph these, these, and this was negative as well. To graph these, we're going to be at negative 2, negative 12.24, which is not there. This is 12, so down a little bit more. Uh, then we have negative 1, negative 8.57. So it's going to be about here. 0, negative 6. 1, 4.2, negative 4.2 and 2, negative 2.94. Oops. Other way. There we go. So this is going to get closer to the x-axis as it goes to the right, and go up, as, or sorry, down as it goes to the left. For 12, we have 4 x, or sorry, f of x is equal to negative 4 times 3 to the power of x. So negative 4 times 3 to the negative second is negative 4 times 1 ninth. So it's negative 4 ninths. Negative 4 times 3 to the negative first is negative 4 times 1 third. So it's negative 4 thirds. Negative 4 times 3 to the power of 0 is negative 4 times 1. It's negative 4. Negative 4 times 3 to the first is negative 4 times 3, which is negative 12. And negative 4 times 3 
The second is negative 4 times 9, so it's negative 36. So we're going to have points that are here, 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 and here. Oh, wow. Other way around. We're dealing with negatives. So, negative... And four, negative four thirds out here. Negative three, or sorry, negative four. And then negative 12. There we go. So for this one, your line should look like this. For 13, we have f of x is equal to 5 times 2 to the power of x. So this is 5 times 1 half to the second power. So 5 times 1 fourth is 5 over 4. 5 times 1 half is 5 over 2. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. And 5 times 4 is 20. So negative 2, 1 and 1 fourth, negative 1, 2 and a half, 0, 5, 1, 10. So this goes down and to the left, not crossing over the x-axis, and up and to the right. For 14, we're given f of x is equal to negative 2 times 0 0.8 to the power of x. 0 0.8 is the same thing as 4 over 5. So this is going to give us negative 2 times 5 over 4 to the positive 2. So that's going to be 25 over 8 times the negative 2 is negative 50 over 8. So that gives us negative 6.25. For the negative 1, it's just going to be negative 2 times 5 over 4. So it's going to be negative 10 over 4, which gives us 2.5, negative 2.5. For the 0, that's just going to be negative 2 times 1. So it's negative 2. For the 1, it's negative 2 times 4 and a half, or sorry, 4 over 5. So that's going to be negative 8 over 5. So it's negative 1, 6. And then negative 2 times 4 fifths squared, which is 16 over 25. So that's going to be 32 over 25, which is 1.28, negative 1.28. This one here was actually wrong. I didn't do this correctly. So I'm going to redo this one. The 5 over 4 is from the negative 2 turns a positive 25 over 16. The 25 times 2 is 50 divided by 16 gives us 3 point, negative 3.125. That looks a lot better. Okay, so to graph, we have negative 2 negative 3.125, then negative 1, negative 2.5, 0, 2, 1, 1. 1.6, and then 2, negative 1.28. So as this goes to the right, it's going to get closer to the x-axis, and as it goes down, or to the left, it's going to go down as well. For 15, we have 9 times 3 to the power of x, so that's going to be 9 times 1 ninth, which is going to be 1, 9 times 1 third, which is going to be 3, 9 times 1, which is 9, then we have 9 times 3, which is 27, and 9 times 9, 
which is 81. So negative 2, 1 is here. Then we have negative 1, 3, 0, 9. And then I'm going to do a negative 3 also. So this is going to be 9 times 1 over 27, which is 9 over 27. And that's 1 third. So now you have 3 1 third. So it gives me that curve that I'm looking for. So I'm going to get closer to my x-axis as I go to the left. And as I go to the right, I'm also going up. For 16, we are given f of x is equal to negative 5 times 2 to the power of x. So it's negative 5 times 1 half squared, which is negative 5 times 1 fourth. That's going to be negative 5 over 4. Negative 5 times 1 half is negative 5 over 2. Negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. And negative 5 times 4 is negative 20. So negative 2, negative 1, and 1 fourth. Then we have negative 1, negative 2 and a half. Then 0, negative 5, and 1, negative 10. So as I go to the left, I'm going to get closer to that x axis, and I'm going to go down and to the right. For 17, we have f of x is equal to 7 times 0 0.4 to the power of x. That 0.4 is 4 over 10, which is 2 fifths. So we're going to have 7 times 2 fifths to the negative 2. So that's 7 times 5 over 2 squared, which is 25 over 4. The 7 times 25 is 175 over 4. So 175 over 4 is 43.75. For the negative 1, it's going to be 7 times 2 fifths to the negative first. So that's just 7 times 5 over 2. The 7 times 5 is 35 divided by 2 gives us 17.5. 7 times 2 fifths to the power of 0 is 7 times 1, which is 7. 7 times 2 fifths to the first power is 14 over 5 which gives us 2.8, and then 7 times 2 fifths to the second is 4 over 25. So 7 times 4 is 28, divided by 25 gives us 1.12. If I wanted to, I could also do 3. So I had 7 times 2 fifths to the third power, which is 7 times 8 over 25 times 5 is 125, yes. 125. So I'm going to do the 8 times 7 and then divide that by 125 and I get 0.448. So I have 0, 07 that I'm going to start with. Then I have 1, 2.8, 2, 1.8, 3, 3.448. I'm getting that curve there now. So my line is going to look like this. And then for our last example, we have f of x is equal to 6 times 2 to the power of x. So this is going to be 6 times 1 half squared, which is 6 times 1 fourth. So it's going to be 6 over 4, which is 3 over 2, or 1 and 1 half. For negative 1, we have 6 times 1 half, which is 3. For the 0, we'd have 6 times 1, which is 6. For the 1, that's 6 times 2, which is 12. And for the 2, that's 6 times 4, which is 24. So negative 2, 1, and 1 half. Then we have negative 1, 3, 0, 6 and 1, 12. So as this goes to the left, it's going to continue to get closer to that x-axis. 
as it goes to the right, it's going to go up. 